हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर वीना एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर वीना योर होम्योपैथ वेल टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वॉमिटिंग ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी स्टे ट्यून विद द होल वीडियो बिकॉज आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाई दिस वॉमिटिंग हैपेंस ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इट्स होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन एंड फाइनली विल बी गिविंग यू टिप्स टू रिड्यूस दिस वॉमिटिंग ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी सो स्टे ट्यून वेल फ्रेंड्स pregnancy is a physiological condition a normal physiological condition and when conception happens there will be changes in the body of a pregnant lady whether neurogenic psychological level or emotional level or hormonal level or chemical level physical level changes will happen and vomiting is so common that we say that it is one of the symptom of pregnancy well vomiting generally during pregnancy generally start from 5th to 6th week of gestation and uh, usually this vomiting is you know it limited around the first trimester but some pregnant ladies this vomiting will be in throughout their pregnancy through the second trimester as well as the third trimester now this vomiting during pregnancy can be divided into two ways it can be mild which is very very common as i said and it is called ms's gravidarum morning sickness and it doesn't hamper the daily activity of these pregnant ladies and if the vomiting during pregnancy is very severe it is called hyperemesis gravidarum and the daily activity of these ladies are hampered vomiting is so severe that it may lead to dehydration they may lead to you know uh, electrolyte imbalances ketoacidosis and these ladies has to be given drips and uh, treat accordingly well milder form is very common as i said it is considered as one of the symptom of pregnancy now let's find out why this vomiting happens well friends there are certain hormonal changes when conception happen and very important is hcg estrogen and progesterone levels the hcg level if the titer increases it increases in uh, obviously in pregnancy in multiple pregnancy in high dietary form moles and it has been seen the hcg titer is proportionate to the vomiting happening similarly progesterone in estrogen level when increases as in pregnancy it what happen it it makes the gastric emptying delayed so when the gastric emptying is delayed the content in the stomach remains and even the cardiac sphincter also relaxes due to high progesterone estrogen levels and if there is no gastric motility if there is no emptying the food will remain inside the stomach and therefore the belching and irritation and nauseatic feeling vomiting feeling or vomiting happens so this was the reason behind why during pregnancy it happens now let's find out what are its homeopathic medicine now as i said always that in homeopathy according to the sign and symptom of the person of the patient we give medication so let's see let's find out what are its top most top notch medicine well friends first medicine is symphoricarpus racemosa well this medicine given in 200 potency works very well during vomiting in pregnant this vomiting persistent around throughout the pregnancy if the person if the ladies are suffering from vomiting they suffering from nausea even with the sight and smell of the food they cannot even cook food because the smell causes nausea or nausea is too high that even the smallest of movement causes nausea only better by lying on the back right in these cases symphoricarpus racemosa works very well along with that there can be any gastric condition gastric complaints like constipation can happen irritation belching will be there appetite derangement there you can give symphoricarpus racemosa 200 potency the second medicine is cucurbita pepo well this medicine also given in potency form or it can be given in mother tincture form nausea happen immediately after eating after eating nauseatic feeling there you can give cucurbita pepo well third medicine is ipecac 
well ipecac also given in any form of vomiting whether it is associated related with pregnancy or not uh, ipecac really works wonders but the main symptom very characteristic symptom is constant nausea so this nauseatic feeling is constant throughout there you can give ipecac the tongue of the ipecac will be clear and completely clear no nothing like antim crude it is completely clear tongue well next medicine is sepia sepia is given in ladies where vomiting of pregnancy where disgust from the sight and smell of the food and the ladies mentally they are very anxious fearful they are indifferent towards their husband towards the other men and there is so much indolence that they cannot they are very lazy that they doesn't want to do any work they don't feel like doing any work even physical or even mental exertion is difficult so in these cases cpr 200 cpr 30 can be very effective next medicine is nux vomica nux vomica also can be given in vomiting during pregnancy and specially you know these ladies they tend to eat more spicy more you know greasy fatty food and they suffer from constipation also and there is always an urge to go to bathroom and they are not completing the stool small stools come out they feel okay better at that time again that urge come so in these cases nux vomica can be given well friends there are again as i said many medicines so these were the basic medicine which can be given in vomiting during pregnancy now let's move on to our third phase of our discussion that is what are the tips i was talking about well friends vomiting during pregnancy as i said generally seen in the early morning time rising from the morning and you know at that time there is a tendency to vomit it doesn't mean that that is only there it can be any time of the uh, you know whole day but generally it is seen in morning so it is advised that please take you know dry biscuit or rusk biscuit oats uh, biscuits are the available and even nutritive fiber biscuits are available just eat one rusk eat one biscuit it will you know help to subside these acidity subside these you know gastric content inside the uh, stomach so the tendency it reduces so do that second thing is hydrate yourself because frequent vomiting will lead to dehydration will lead to electrolyte imbalances will lead to you know a lot of um, uh, the electrolyte as well as the hydration things comes down so better hydrate yourself with water with uh, fresh juice without adding any sugar in it right and third thing eat nutritious food munch frequently eat frequently but avoid heavy meals like heavy meals in the morning or heavy meals in afternoon or night don't do that cut your meals means frequency should be more but the quantity should be less but it should be you know uh, proper having proper uh, proteins carbohydrate a balanced diet but frequency should be more so that you doesn't you know have an empty stomach so munch frequently and last but not least avoid things are which are irritants like uh, greasy food oily food spicy food just better avoid that because if you eat more fatty food and you know heavy meals it is difficult to digest and especially when as i said due to hormonal changes imbalances or changes you can say gastric emptying is less so if you eat these kind of heavy greasy oily food then it will be difficult to digest so balance food frequent munching uh, you know early morning just biscuit or dry munching that is very important and hydration also very important finally i would like to say if you like my video you think that it is informative enough please share please like and comment and yes hit the bell icon till then goodbye and thank you from me